Hi there everyone. This video is to show those interested in my POV project as you can see on the screen now. Uh, it's just to show them the Excel spreadsheet that you can use to draw your own pictures and then export them to a hex file. So we'll get right into it because um, this might take up to 10 minutes. So you need to open up your web browser. Oh actually I should, I should apologize. Um, there is a bit of lag with this recording program I'm using so my speech might be a bit different to what's actually happening on screen okay so you need to go to my website bradsprojects.com once that's open left hand side 8x85 RGB POV display click that link to open up that page okay then it just details what the action, what the thing does, how to actually build it, schematic diagrams, parts lists, things like that. What we're going to be focusing on now is uh, the software that you need. So you need to download HXD, which is a hexadecimal or a hex editor. So download that, and you also need the 8x85 Excel spreadsheet. Uh, this is what one of my friends at work did up for me, uh, which is which is very handy for drawing these pictures. Okay, once done, open up Excel and open up your newly downloaded template, the 8x85 template. You'll pre be presented with this screen um, with a 8x85 pixel working area. That's all the black there. At the moment, we're starting off, it's just empty because we haven't drawn anything in there. Um, and we have our color palette up here, which gives us eight different colors, black, blue, green, cyan, red, magenta, orange, and white. Before we can draw a picture, we need to click on Tools, Add-ins, and we need to make sure that these two boxes are ticked, Analysis Tool Pack and Analysis Tool Pack VBA. If they're not ticked, then you'll get problems when trying to uh, copy and paste your hexadecimal information. Okay, let's get right into making a little picture. So let's write hello. So let's just start with red. So we'll click red and control C to copy that. Then holding the control key, we can select multiple cells. Once we've selected them all that we need, control V to paste. And we've just made a nice red H. So now we'll do a green E. There we go. How about a blue L? And perhaps a, an orange L? And finally, let's go with a cyan O. There we go, so I've just written hello. So it's a very, very basic picture. Um, got a whole heap of wasted space over here with nothing in it, but that's okay. Uh, I just want to show you the basic gist of what's going on. So we've, we've drawn our first one frame little picture. The, the next sheet along the line is the working sheet. This is just where it converts from that picture into the hexadecimal digits, and then it eventually outputs it into the output sheet. All you need to do once you've drawn the picture is copy and paste this line here, and only this line. So select the whole thing, Control C to copy, and at this point, this is where you need to open up your HXD hexadecimal editor. So if you haven't installed it already, um, open up the zip file and set up. Probably close that now. And it's a freeware program. Uh, very handy for this particular task and launch it uh, click the new new page button and you'll be presented with a brand spanking new page so we've just copied from Excel now we need to paste into our hex editor so control V to paste uh, you may get a little screen pop up that says are you sure you want to paste because this will change the file size 
um, just click OK because of course it's going to change the file size if we paste something into it. So, so there's our 256 bytes of image data. Now we can save that. Uh, let's just let's go to C drive, make a new folder. There we go. So let's just save it as hello.hex. So it's saved. Now what we then do from there is we would open up our EEPROM programmer software. We would open up the hello.hex file and then we would copy that to our EEPROM um, and then we could display that on our POV display. Um, I should also tell you that of course you have to define or tell the assembly uh, file how many frames of animation you've got. So that was only one frame so we'd have to define that it only had one frame of animation. Um, I should quickly show you how to do that. So MP Lab should go back to Brad's projects and download where is it? The source code. And let's now open that source code. There it is. And we define that in here in total frames. So if you have 178 separate frames one after the other then you declare it as 178. If you've only got one as in our hello example we'd put 0 1 there and we've got one frame. So we copy that to our, our PIC microcontroller we'd copy the hex file to our EEPROM and then we're good to go. Now quickly because my time is running out here if you want to do animation, for example the, um, the flying animation that I did in one of my YouTube videos, uh, easy way to do that, or the easiest way to do that is to draw your picture as big as it's going to be. So 85 pixels across by it could be 200 uh, pixels down. So I'm just using red to, actually let's, let's do different colors here. Let's do a bit of green and a bit of blue, a bit of orange. Now let's do some white. Oops, <laughs> I went over my blue. Doesn't matter. So let's just pretend that that's our our picture in there. This this down here where I've drawn is not the working area so you can draw anything down there and the, the spreadsheet or the output and the working sheets won't recognize it. it they'll only recognize it if it's in this top 8x85 area so what I do is I would copy and paste the top 8x85 pixels so copy that paste it into there go to the output copy that output I'd have a new sheet here obviously and I paste it in there so that's the first frame then I'd come back to Excel and I'd get the very next 8x85 underneath that copy it paste it up here and my time's running out then I just copy that from Excel, paste it into here, and I'd keep doing that for however many frames I've got. I'd save the file, copy it to the EEPROM, um, and then I'd define in my assembly program how many frames of animation I've got, and that'll work all good for you. So, sorry this might be a bit rushed. If you've got any questions, make sure you visit my forum, or just get in contact with me through YouTube, um, and feel free to ask. Uh, hopefully this was helpful, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.